Here's a follow-up uh, with a really crappy mustache. Um, what you can do with your three-quarter inch barrel curling iron. This mustache is split in the middle. I don't know if yours is, but either if it's full or not, you're gonna take it and just hold it in your hand. And just with the side of your barrel, you can kind of get your ends to curl under again. Don't worry about the lace. You're not gonna burn the lace unless the iron is really hot. So you see that that, can, that kind of curls under a little bit. I know it's hard to get it to focus. And then you can do the same thing with the ends. It's not gonna be great. You're not gonna get the same movement that you had. But it did a little bit. And then you can take your wax, your mustache wax, and twist the ends together and get them to kind of join and be happy again. That's what you want. You want happy facial hair. So yeah, that's about, and I'm sorry I'm showing you on not the most beautiful facial hair pieces that are in my shop, but yeah. The other thing you can do, <laughs> sorry, I'm at work. The other thing you can do is pin it in place and then same kind of concept with the T-pin set Hello? is you can wet it and kind of just bend the hair where you want it to go. This is how I style synthetic facial hair, like the pieces you saw on that subreddit. You're just very delicately pinning, no, pinning that in place. You can wet it, you can put some product in there and you can let it dry. And then when you take it out, you have a beautiful finished mustache. So yeah. Oh, and hello. <laughs>